we've got Admiral General versus Patar. Patar is at a disadvantage here. He's lost a game already, so if he loses this one, he is out. So Admiral General wins, wins, wins. <clears throat> Strictly speaking, Space Pike, I said it first, so don't give me that. <laughs> right. It's Aquarius again. Lots and lots and lots of metal. Expect T2 rush hard with these players. Here we go. The finals begin. And just G casual. And then all spawn. We have Admiral General in signature green. What's first? As you'd expect, P Gen. Eh. Uh, P Gen. P Gen. Silly noise. Bot factory. P Gen. <laughs> Air factory. There we go. See, you get the picture. Double bots, double air. Meanwhile, on the south spawn, we've got uh, Bot factory. A little slow on his bill cues. Come on. Admiral General is much further ahead on the ghosting than you are. But there you go. Fab's coming out. Will we see the common claim? Yes, we do. Coming out with the combat fabs as you'd expect. Air second, I think, is probably going to be a stronger option here, simply because you're then going to have the scout, you're going to have the ability to lock down any pelican drops, you're going to be able to stop any air fabs, or even get some air fabs out early to uh, get themselves paid for. Which is good. Which is good, 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 good. There you go, there's the Firefly going around for the scouting. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays with so much metal, because typically you don't get quite so much metal as this when your spawns in uh, in most games. So I wonder whether these players really are just going to rush T2 super duper duper hard. Why not, you know? Bot rush, T2 bots rush. It's a viable, I suppose. It's... If it was T, it was if it was a two versus two, you'd definitely see T two rush. There's there's no other option. Uh, certainly see expansions abound. Indeed, we apparently have that guy showering this guy in green goo for whatever reason. He's not reclaiming, so I don't even. Uh, he's spraying his lovely greenness. Meanwhile, though, we have the odd Docs moving out. <clears throat> He's not going to get anywhere from Batar to Odds Admiral General. The uh, turrets are up and complete. Docs just wandering around, picking off one by one. So now that we're in the pro bracket, we can actually think, what are these players going to be doing? Well, there's clumps of mechs everywhere, so they can go for those. Probably see air game being a thing. Probably heavy ground, perhaps, is more important here simply because of the contestion of mechs is going to be so important even more so than regular games simply because it's so easy to get so much alternatively you could see very heavy air because both players know that each player is going to have so much mechs that they just need to be able to know okay well he's building this i'm going to build that you know if someone's going heavy ground go heavy air if they go heavy anti-air then well, you made the wrong decision. <laughs> coming out with a few docks now from Batar. A few bot fabbers coming out behind. That's four bot fabbers. If they get picked off, which they won't do, fortunately. Eesh, a little bit risque. But there you go. Sneaky air fabs, as you'd expect. As I did say the other time, you'd get the uh, air fabs going around on the other side. Ooh, did we? No, we didn't see any Faber picks there. Close, but uh, no cigar. Wow, I am really surprised that we don't see any T2 rush. Do we don't even see any queued? We do see naval queued from Admiral, though, so uh, apparently he is going to want to get into the water. Probably up with some T2 naval as well. Moving around with some kaijus later, most likely. Especially after the last game. Once again, guys, Orbit Network providing you with three Steam Key 4PA Titans. Winners will be announced at half past. Great. Fantastic. Don't forget to join the TeamSpeak. 
Constant turret placement, though. I think this is probably the best course of action against bot swarming. Especially on a map like this, where it's just going to be so abundant. There's just docks everywhere. Just putting up turrets everywhere is just going to be an absolute nuisance. Certainly for uh, for bot raiding. Around there. We do have docks coming around the back. They could... Uh, well, I was going to say they could get into the base. But we do have the turrets there to defend. Moving out and zooming around. Did all the fabbers get picked? I think... Oh my goodness. All four expanding fabbers got picked by that bomber. Oh, that was a win and a half for Admiral. All four expanding bot fabs got picked. Meantime, Pitar, instead of uh, grieving his losses, is turning to T2 vehicles. A wise decision. More air. One, two, three factories from Admiral. Two, one, two, three, four from Patar. So Patar again, still in the air game here. <coughs> Ooh, getting revenge Faber picks. Very nice indeed, and certainly keeping in track with the air game there, locking it down. Has Patar seen the naval expansion? He has. He knows that is a thing. He has yet to. Answer it. However, looking around, what do we see? Queued T2 vehicles there. Got to reclaim all the trees for it yet. And even more air factories. So Admiral realizes, okay, I need to get into the air game. This is Patar. This isn't just some Kazipko. <laughs> I need to get into the air. These two having a picnic and chill. I don't know. T2 vehicles up for Pitar. Will we see the Faber first or the Leveler first? We see. the Faber first. Very nice. Lots of T2 mechs is necessary. Look at that eco down to 50%. He needs to expand Pitar. You know the basics of PA. Get your economy in gear. Meanwhile, Admiral General is still doing okay. Not floating, but spending and not stalling. Just where you want to be. Doc's still poking the bear from Batar. Not doing a huge amount of damage, continually running into bombers. The thing with bots at this stage is trees are still everywhere and docks don't like trees. It's known that docks just cannot shoot through wood. It is their one weakness, wood. It makes them incredibly unreliable when fighting when there are trees nearby. <clears throat> Or maybe they just turn into stormtroopers and lose their accuracy, I don't know. In their programming, if in trees, accuracy zero. <coughs> there you go. Teacher Vehicle's coming up for Admiral now. He is stalling his power a little bit. He needs to get that back in check. That's probably all the combat fabs that he's using for that, plus the uh, number of fabs. If you look in the army tab there, 14 fabricators, nearly all of them doing work. That is where his power is going. And he's using a lot of air fabs as well. Oh, he probably should have had a bit more power going before he invested quite so heavily in that number of fabs. Good thing we did see Patar getting a few docks into the water there. Got some nice scouting of the naval expansion, so he does know that that's a thing. Patar also moving into the water there with a few barracudas. Going to move up soon to start raiding this. I think his Admiral General is ahead of him with the regards to building barracudas. Now let's have a look. What has Admiral General scouted? I'm betting nothing. Oh, nothing. There we go. I win the bet. Ah... Uh. Why is scouting not a thing? I mean, at the moment, there's nothing particularly out of the ordinary. The T2 is up. Both players can safely assume at their level that the other has T2. Similarly, Admiral gone into the Navy. He can assume, considering that he has seen, that Patar has seen his Navy, that Patar has moved into the water. <coughs> so... 
It's kind of mirrored at the moment. More factories for Admiral, however. Look at that. 16. Lots and lots of bots. Lots and lots and lots of bots. The air game for Patar, however. The bombers are the ideal anti-bot. Certainly anti-docks at this stage. Levelers coming out of the field, though. The first levelers to engage in battle. Will this combat fab lay mines? Yes, it will. Before it even started. Like a boss, I cast. These things, if left unscouted, which they are, there's no skitters or combat fabs in here, they could run into mines. They don't even see the combat fab, or do they, are they going to go straight in? They are! Oh dear! Oh no! Levelers! Levelers! No! Beautifully last minute mines. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked that offensive force, knocking Patar back a few pegs in confidence. Thing is, though, Admiral's still uncontested in the water here, but although in the economy tab, Patar almost at 400. How? T2, I say. T2 all up in his base. Admiral, however, has not done so. He has gone more on the T1 expansion. Thing is, when he does get the T2 up, he's finally got his factory finished and a fab route. He is sorting out his power first. Once he starts, decides to go for the power me metal, then he will really fly ahead because he has all of that expansion. Thing is, he needs to get that power up in order to be able to use those factories properly to their full efficiency. Cheeky air fabs, though. Are they going to come and reclaim these fabs? Never mind that. Barracudas have got it. They're just going to get the mechs anyway. Ding, ding, ding. Lovely. Barracudas playing nice and defensive. T2 naval coming up from Ptah. Definitely Kaijus, who was predicted. I'm surprised that we don't see more air from Ptah, although I suppose they do occasionally clash, which kind of keeps their numbers from uh, getting to uh, rodent numbers. Um, I feel as I'm about to sneeze, so apologies if my speech goes up. Oh, I think I muted my mic in time. <laughs> I don't know. Right, back to the cast. <laughs> oh. Hay fever is a thing. It is... Oh, God, why? Right. <laughs> bots and units everywhere for Admiral General. He kind of needs to blob up a little bit. The problem with having all of these units all so spread out is that they don't do any damage when they do actually engage and they get so easily shot down. Look at that. Especially when they're engaging with levelers and bots. Patar has learnt his lesson about the whole mine issue. He's got a single skitter in there. Unfortunately it is... Oh no, he's got two. Okay. I was going to say, if he only had the one skitter and it was at the front of the group, it's going to get picked off early and then he's going to lose vision on all those mines. So... The fact that he has the skitter at the front is great, and the fact that he has one in the middle slash back is also great because he's going to be able to see these mines. The thing is, he's probably going to lose to this attack here anyway, simply because, well, Admiral has the home field advantage. Admiral coming in with the air. Hummingbirds everywhere, but no bumblebees. <laughs> Oh dear, chat's reaction to the sneeze, fantastic. <laughs> My apologies. Right. So. Uh, why was that a thing? That's so embarrassing. Right. Bots and the levelers, though, pushing up. Actually doing a good bit of raiding there. And now we see Patar on 522, but Admiral coming in with the t in his base. Bringing up the uh, the eco there to 479. Not too far behind once he's got these mechs up there to bring it up to an additional 100. He'll be absolutely laughing when he's got the T2 in his base. What do we got in the naval? Have we got any plays? T2 is almost finished. Barracuda's yet to push out. There's three torpedo positions there, so it wouldn't necessarily be wise for them to do so. Admiral bin being a nuisance with a few bots in various different locations. Patar's air game is really starting to come into its own. Admirals, or however, he said, okay, I'm not going to focus too heavily on bombers. I'm going to get the hummingbirds. Patar, however, with his hummingbirds, I think Admiral actually has the advantage with the hummingbirds. Oh, 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 oh so Admiral... 
in the lead there with the air game, big time. But he's just got so many bot factories. He, I'm surprised he's only got one T2 factory at this stage. I suspect that he'd be thinking of getting up more T2 factories. But the number of factories means he really should be just swarming everywhere. The thing is, he's kind of neglected to do enough raiding to keep Batar busy, as it were. I mean, this force could prove something of a challenge, although the bombers are taking care of most of it. I said, where is this a thing, not what is this game? Oh. Never mind. Right, Bomber is also dealing with Patar, so it's kind of a stalemate at this point. Neither player can really find the way into the other's base. I think the T2 Naval is going to clinch it when Kaijus come out, because they can shoot from the uh, from the water, and bringing in the Narwhals and stuff as well to support the anti-air will really be devastating. Certainly if Admiral isn't aware of the T2 Naval, the thing is, he's so very close, and he does get the scout on it, I think. Did he? Yep. Yeah. He sees the T2 naval up. He sees it complete. He sees it building fabricators. All oh, that mechs! Ah. That is brutal. That just knocked Patar down from 500 to 400. Wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely glorious. There's a number of bombers there. Looking at this comm, you know, there's, uh, I suppose there's a couple of flak around the place, so it wouldn't be the most wise thing to do to actually push in there for the bomber snipe. I, I honestly really am surprised we don't see more T2 factories from Admiral. We've finally got, one, two, three, four, five from Batar, and he can support it. Six, make that six. <laughs> Gosh. Right. Gosh, that air game though. But the storms. Oh, the storms are a thing. Will we see the air go over storms? Come on. This is a casual tourney after all. Yes, it's the pro racket, but come on. We've seen what storms can do. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, is the air going to go for the... No, surely not going to go for the comm site. There's no bombers in there. It's just going to scout the base. How many T2 factories did he see? Two! He only saw two. But you can assume, based on the number of levelers, that there are more. Oh, the boombots, though. Oh, the boombots, though. Coming up from behind, the docks, the docks are at the front. Oh, wait, where are the boombots going? They can't go in for the comm. Where are the boombots going? What are they doing? Oh, my goodness. The boombots versus levelers. Oh, the docks versus levelers. The boombots again! Oh, that's evil. Oh dear. That was actually a pretty good trade for Admiral, with all those boombots taken into account, because he didn't lose too many uh, T2 vehicles there, which is pretty neat. Got some cheeky airfab expansion. Look at all this uncontested airfab expansion. Absolutely everywhere, absolutely laughing. And Patar's air game is so far behind. He must have had an air engagement that I didn't notice. And just completely fallen behind. Let's have, well, I'm not going to count the air factories because there's more than enough there to be able to tell the Admiral has got vastly superior air production. Batar really falling behind in that regard. And actually because of Admirals taking such good engagements, he is pulling ahead in this game. And the fact that Batar has already lost one means that Batar has to win this to stay in the tourney. Otherwise, Admiral gets the victory. Oh, nice decision to send the bombers over the boombots and docks. Oh, that was very nice. Instead of going back in for the air engagement, he said, Okay, you're going to back off. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll bomb your dudes. Very, very nice micro there from Patar. Absolutely wonderful. What do we got? Kaiju's in the base. Oh, dear. That's not good news for Admiral. Problem is, there's no AA support. Barracudas can't do a thing. Kaiju's just poking at this point. I'm surprised the air isn't going over there to bomb it. What I'm more surprised by is the fact that uh, Patar isn't really upping his air. You can kind of see the economies there. In the army tab, relatively even. Factory counts 10 lead to Admiral. 23 Fabers. 
he's going to be able to produce huge amounts more therefore oh ho 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 oh ho ho oh okay and I thought monkey soldier had the T2 air thing apparently admiral has decided it is in his best interest to go for that as well phoenix possibly kestrels possibly even worms actually to deal with the storms because this is a lot of levelers here this is a lot of levelers. The thing is, there's only one storm in there that I count. One storm, a bunch of spinners. Oh dear. Was that an air engagement? That was an air engagement. Let's have a quick uh, gander at that. Oh dear. Oh dear. That was Patar's entire air force gobbled. Not great news for him. However, the ground is in the base. The Kaijus are also in the base and Admiral is actually all of a sudden looking at a very precarious situation because he just has not been able to stem the flow of T2 units. There's not enough bombers here to deal with this. The storms are putting in work at last. Down go the bumblebees. There's no more bombers in that force and now there's nothing really to defend this base. There's only a few levelers few and far between. He's rushing up a Zeus. Oh he's rushing up a Zeus. Can he do it in time? Can he do it in time to save his comp? I don't think he can. His power is in the drain right now. And his comp is just watching it from afar. <laughs> this pleases me. Oh dear. Leveler's coming over. They're going to see it. All the fabs. They should be building up turrets instead of the Zeus just to save themselves. The GG from Admiral Patar forces it down to the wire. The next game clinches it. <laughs> now that was a good game. <laughs> I haven't seen a good game like that in a while. It took a while, but all the same, that was a good game. <laughs> There's the storm gonna wreck some air fads. Goodbye. Wowee. It looked very precarious for Patar because of how far behind it was he was in air production. But we neglected to think about the fact that, yeah, he had the T2 naval, which Admiral did not think about countering. And he had so much T2 vehicle production. Look at that. Look at all those T2 vehicle factories. G ing G. Wow. Wowza. Stonking game. So the game begins. The final of the Andreas G one versus one casual tournament arena. Patar, the North spawn in black, and Emerald General in the South spawn in green. Both gone bots first, as you would expect. Admiral queued up. Bots, 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 and air. Meanwhile, Patar. Bots. Air, bot, 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 air, air, bot, 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 air, 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 and more air, with a few pigeons. Would you like some mechs with your factories? I don't know. That would be good to have. This is frozen Oreo yogurt. It's typically a two versus two map. It's common in tournaments. There's mechs everywhere. There's an abundance of strategy available. Do you want to go naval and fight for the uh, the canals and around here, possibly backdoor someone? <clears throat> do you want to go for air and do some cheeky expansions? Do you want to go for cheese and drop your commander into your opponent's pond and then build T2 naval inside their base? That's what Kazipko would do. That's what me and myself and Kazipko did. It worked a treat, just to let you know. <clears throat> Next up though, with the players actually starting to do their stuff, we have a few combat fabs, second airs coming out. The winner of this, of course, takes home the trophy mug. <laughs> the Andreas G trophy mug. Because of course you do. Expansion starting from Admiral in green down here. He's taking it slow and steady. Doesn't want to overextend himself too early. He wants to make sure he can defend his expanding fabbers. 
which you would expect. I wonder how early we'll see the naval from these players, because... Uh, naval, you know, you, you kind of want it, really. It's something that players often forget, and with the amount of metal that's on this planet, you can probably afford it, really. Not with, uh, with all the mechs that you can win with it from it. Often you do see air fabs or pelican drops into those two mechs. It's quite an easy couple of couple of mechs if you can manage to do that. Wonder who's going to go for it first, if anyone. It's only two mechs, of course. Air fab coming out from Admiral. Maybe he's going to go for it. Certainly onto the expansion game. He knows how important it is, as does Patar. Patar, however, sending docks around. After I don't know, giving them a bit too much alcohol, I don't know what's going on with those dogs. In the base, though, what do we see? More air factories. He's still fulfilling his queue that we saw earlier. Ooh. If these dogs manage to kill off this faber, that they will not be able to do, apparently. Yeah. Uh, never know. No. Okay. Bye, dogs. Faber survives. If that faber hadn't survived, that would have been a nice pick for. Uh, Admiral. As it happened, it was nicely defended by Admiral. Have a Faber sneaking up here, grabbing a bit of map control with the uh, with the turret there. Really nice. It's only a level one turret, so uh, it'll only deal with the odd docks raiding party. Yeah, though. Where did Admiral's air fab go? Did it get killed? Oh, no, it's just going into the mid of the map. Okay. I have no problem with this. He's getting his metal. Ptah currently leading on that front. He's got a few more mech sites. But uh, it kind of doesn't really mean anything at this stage to have such a small disparity. A few docks coming in, though. will take out a uh, bot fab. Nice pickup there. If these guys stick around, they could potentially take out a few, uh, few mechs. Said they could go in and get a bit of scouting. Instead, the bomber is going to come in, finish those off. Again, it's too early to really call anything significant on a map this size for one versus one. Andrus G. Chorneys always do like the bigger maps. T2 bots coming out for Admiral, though. Will we see locusts? I've been wanting to see these all evening. Will we see them today? I say today, this game. Will these be uploaded to YouTube? Some of them, yes. Certainly the better ones will. But yeah, locusts would be really good on this map. There's so many ways for them to get into the base. From the back, from the sides, through the water. And when locusts get into the base in good enough number, they, uh, they eat. They eat away and they feast. Uh, coming up for Patar now, though. A few bombers in there. Will he get the pick on this fab? There is the Galata there, so we will have to trade in a few bombers and uh, bum uh, hummingbirds in order to do so. Equally, he could just go around and get a bit of scouting done. Meanwhile, Admiral's air game is kind of on the other side of the planet, so uh, Patar's, Patar's air gets uh, well, a free, free movement pass, so to speak. Lots of fabs moving out for Admiral. Is he building teleporters? Or is he just going to expand? He's lining docks up, though. I must find out about that mod, what, what mod that is, because that seems like it could be very, very useful indeed. What, uh... Yeah, it's good that they're getting expansions. If they can get up a teleporter in a few factories there, that would be amazing. Teterbot's almost finished. Uh, why do we not get any PA soundtrack anymore? It's the spectators who don't seem to get any of the, uh, the soundtrack. T2 vehicles for Pitar. Ah, Interesting. Certainly very interesting. He needs to get up enough T2 vehicles. I feel as though bots with the greater mobility are stronger, certainly initially. But when you just start hammering home with the sheer power of vehicles... That's really where they become the issue. 
Ooh, taking out a few... Uh, oh, not taking out a few fabs. Okay. Admiral's expansion, though. Look at that. 244 to 180. Hospital float. Which isn't great news. Slammer's coming out, so no locusts. No. Very sad face. Making a sad panda. Let's have a look in the army tab and see the factory disparity there. 12 to Patar. Most of that is air. Mucho de flying things. Again, it's too early to really call much. Certainly, Admiral a little behind in the air, but he has got the T2 early. He could use that to his advantage, theoretically, sending slammers through the water. They can uh, take that shortcut, of course. Yeah, from Admiral, running away, blobbing up, realising he doesn't want to pick this fight. Certainly not yet. Conserving his forces, a wise decision. Sneaky, sneaky Firefly. Does get taken down. Does see the uh, the air fab. Does he see the uh, the vehicles? Yeah, he does see the T2 vehicle factory. Does Patar see the bots? Let's have a look. As soon as I can pick his view. He does not see the T2 bots. Uh-oh. That's a potential issue there. He sees a lot of air. He sees the comm. He sees more air factories going up. Does not see the T2 bots. So he doesn't know that he's vehicles versus bots. He doesn't know that locust threat is potential. He doesn't know that slammer threat is potential. And kind of slow. It's a big, uh, big map. Can't really expect too much going on. A bit of an air trade there from Batar. Just keeping Admiral's numbers in check. Loses a number of bombers, but it's okay. He came out with uh, with the air there. I feel as though that might have been a better trade for Admiral, looking at the numbers, how they traded. And back into the economy there, though. Admiral's still in the lead. Doc's coming in for the raid. No bombers there to deal with. And there's not all that many ground units. Well, I say sla slammers. They will uh, destroy Doc's. We can uh, move on from there. Naval from Patar could finally come to fruition. He hasn't really done much with it. I think he's too focused on the air and doing a bit of raiding here and there to uh, really bother with his air at this stage. In proceedings. this for It's a shame that this force is going to have to take this trade with the slammers because they do a lot better. If they ran away from that, they could potentially go and raid a bit more metal. Maybe go and scout all of these air factories. Admiral realising he needs to get back into the air game. What he doesn't want to do is what he did last game and overcompensate going into the air and underproduce the hard hitting T2 ground. Finally, the T2 vehicles are up for Patar. Vehicles out there. We've got some uh, economy going up, which is nice. Finally start to see some levelers and then he can start to push out again. That's the thing with Patar. He needs those levelers before he can push out. Currently he's relying on his air to stay uh, to stay Admiral's hand in terms of map control here. He's done a good enough job of it so far. There's only a few fabricators that have slipped past the net. And those are your sort of second round fabricators again coming in here with bombers. Going to lock down that expansion. So Patar doing a really good job with his air despite not having the ground presence yet. I did see T2 vehicles coming up from Admiral General, so maybe he realises that T2 bots versus T2 vehicles, he will need vehicles, and that is the correct assessment. Surprised we don't see T2 naval coming up, but uh, Patar decides that uh, getting the metal extraction is uh, more important at this stage of the game, which is fair enough if he wants to up his T2 production. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. What is that air trade? Those two looked like they were kind of muzzling along there. I don't know. I think Admiral, yeah, I think I'd say Admiral came out of that in the... Oh, look at all these air factors. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Having a look in the TARS. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, Admiral back in the air game, certainly, and he will continue to stay in the air game. 
That's going to be an issue for Patar, considering he has relied on his air to prevent Admiral's expansion so far. He needs to get out and about with his bots and his vehicles now. He can no longer hide in his base going up to T2. He has to make moves. He's expanding, yes. He's getting naval, yes. But don't forget that he also needs to have adequate anti-air in his forces. Moving around, what are we going to find? Patar's air realizing he is uh, not fit for taking that fight. Possibly wants to run between his, with his tail between his legs here. Yeah, he, he knows that's not for him. He backs off. Doc's coming in again. Firefly sees them. Will Admiral divert and come over to bomb? Looks like no for the time being. Doc's coming out, getting a little bit of intel. The fact that uh, Batar has expanded here is now known. Looking at Admiral's base, though, it is... Oh, objectively bigger than Batar's. Unit count greater, factory count greater, fabric count greater. Economy vastly greater. And I feel as though this is all because Batar has played perhaps a little too defensively. He hasn't gone out and shown how, uh, how important he is, how much he is deserving of the mug, the mug of custom tournamentness. And it's kind of biting him in the back. He hasn't yet moved to T2 Naval, which is another thing that could really help him out. Oh, 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 oh locusts. Sorry, I, I digress, but locusts. I cannot wait to see those guys. Right. In fact, you know what? I'm going to track them in picture in picture because I want to know when they do their thing. Right, there you go. When that moves, someone shout. <laughs> Air game for Patar certainly behind now. Moving to bots. <sighs> I almost think it's a little too little too late. He's trying to get up T2 in his base, but he's almost got all the T2 in his base and... It still isn't enough to catch Admiral at this point, because Admiral just has so much map control now. He has so much. He has T2 vehicles. His comm is in the open, though. But he has... Ooh. What? A nuke, you say? Now that is a sneaky strat that you don't often see. Oh, storms! 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 Go back over! Go back over them! There are storms! The locusts are on the move, too! I can't monitor all of this at the same time. What are those locusts going to do? I want to I keep an eye on that. Right, here we go. Where did those locusts go? Oh, GG. Oh. Apparently we're now uh, looking at the opposite side. There we go. Let's follow that. Locusts! Are they going to find a hole? Nope. They're going to find two advanced laser turrets. That's not going to be to their liking. Oh, that's a shame. Those locusts are they're not going to do very much work. Okay, back to the main view. There's a commander over here. And there's a few storms to defend against anti-air. Oh dear. Potential issue here there is. Ooh, that's a larger force of uh, locusts that are moving out. Let's follow those. The nuke launcher is 50% complete. And the Kong is potentially facing a bunch of levelers. Again with the boom bots. Ideal counter to the levelers here. There are Infernos in there though, so perhaps the Infernos want to get on the front. Storm's ready. Boom bots in there, walking into the Inferno. Storm's again still there. Admiral's there, realising he does not want to go that way. Ooh, Slammer's on the other side of the mountain here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Kong realising he needs to get out. So having said that Admiral has so much map control, just a few vehicles there have forced him all the way back in. Having, you know, unit counts aren't too much to go by here, but still, that's so reasonably impressive that he's been able to do that. And now he can lay a bit of damage onto it. Well, that, that boombot was getting a bit cosy with those levelers. Let, oh, the storm! The storm! The storm! Yes! Yeah, ooh, locusts. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. There it goes. <laughs> Boom bots aren't working. Locusts will do so. Locusts eat. They basically uh, chew through the metal of the opposing unit. 
So basically, they uh, decompose the uh, the unit that they attack, but actually providing their uh, their uh, owner with the metal that they chew. Oh ho! Batar seems to be back into the air game here. Is that because he's just stockpiled air, or because he's actually upped his air production? Looks as though he's upped it a little by three factories. Is that enough? The nuke is beginning. I need to keep my picture in picture on that now, I'm sorry. With that many fabricators on that nuke, that is dangerous. An admiral is not stalling. That is going to be a thing. Does Patan know about it? He does not. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. He's not going to be ready for a nuke to bonk him on the nose. He's too busy trying to get the air game back. <laughs> Bait and switch from Admiral here. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, that force isn't going to do very much. The nuke is almost ready. 86. 87. 90. Oh my goodness. Are we actually... Oh, please. Oh, it's going to be so bad. The commander's in nuke kill range. It's a single nuke for a snipe. Come on. He knows where the comm is. Oh no. I don't think this could be any worse for Patar right now. Where's the nuke coming from? Which angle? Oh, that is such bad news! Oh no! Here it comes! There's not a lot that Patar can do about this. He hasn't moved his comm. The nuke is there. Hello. G G he calls it. Oh and down he goes. <laughs> what a way to end it. Admiral General takes the tournament, the Andrews G pro bracket of the casual well, this is one tournament. Oh how glorious. Oh how so very, very glorious indeed. Let's go back to the brackets there. You can see how Admiral General came to be. Nice finisher, says Patar. Ah, gracious loser. Fantastic. Worthy of the holy mug, he says. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, folks, that was that tournament.